So I have a Craftsman chainsaw here. I'm just going to go over pretty much how to get it started and how to use it. So here we have a choke. You have basically run the chain, so we don't want that on when we're starting. There's a little switch over here that's on and off. This will give you basically for the bar oil. And then we just need to, to get it started. So put your foot here. Start pulling. Put this in one. check where the bar oil is. Let's go here. Take a look. It's pretty much low. And then here we want to see how much gas we have. So this is going to be a 50 to 1 ratio. It's like the two cycle mix so I'm pretty low on that as well. So you have two cycle mix in there. Tighten that up. Again, just use a screwdriver or something so it doesn't leak. We need bar oil. A lot of people use just use motor oil from like oil changes and things like that. Just had some leftover oil, so. Bar oil keeps the chain lubricated on the, the bar as it's spinning around. good and tight. The other thing you want to do every so often you want to go through make sure the chain's sharp because if it's not sharp it's going to be a lot harder to uh, to cut through anything. So what they do is they give you this uh, little sharpener. It's a basically a metal file. And what you want to do is be about 30 degrees. It'll show you about where 30 degrees is. And you're just going to run that back and forth. Now the biggest mistake I've ever seen is that uh, most amateurs make is when they cut wood or like they cut a tree or anything, they don't put another tree underneath. And what you'll find is people will accidentally hit the dirt or hit uh, like a stone or something. As soon as you hit either a stone or dirt, basically the chain's gone. Uh, you're done for the day. All right. So let's say you have an issue and the chain either pops off because it wasn't uh, on tight enough or uh, another issue where you have to tension it. So, so to tension it, uh, you can just adjust this screw and that will move uh, this bar back and forth and it will increase or decrease the tension. This is appropriate, you can pull it off a little bit, uh, but none of the, the actual teeth can pop off the chain, or I mean out of the bar. So, you want it about... You don't want to pull it too much more than that. The other thing is, as it heats up, the the chain will get uh, longer from thermal expansion, and you might have to tighten this so that it pulls the bar out a little bit further, uh, so the the chain doesn't pop off. And if the chain ever did pop off, you can always just keep spare chains around, and then you'll just take these two bolts off, and it's pretty simple from there. Say something's wrong with the chain or the bar, uh, you would just come here, on the side, there's two bolts.
take that bar off, pull a protection plate, protective plate. So say your chain came off, all you would have to do is wrap the chain back around. If your chain ever fell off, all you would have to do is take a new chain, put it on around here, feed the chain into the bar. Just remember it is sharp, so watch where you're putting your hands or wear some uh, thick leather gloves. Just tighten that up, put the, uh, the guard back on. Now this little piece, there's a piece of metal that sticks out here. This is what actually gives the tension on the bar uh, and keeps the, the chain taut so it doesn't bounce off or fly off while you're using it. So we're just going to bolt this back in place. Now, the one thing I found is if you over tighten these bolts when you're trying to adjust the bar, uh, from time to time I have bent the screws, so I just picked up a whole bunch of these extra screws so I don't uh, ever run out of them. It's a little bit of slack, but not too much. You don't want to burn out the, uh, the bar. Uh, you can see that it got overheated from, uh, there was a time when didn't have enough oil. So now I think I like where that's set. I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit. We're going to start it up. As the engine's warm, you don't have to put as much of the choke open. If you ever want a Hollywood uh, prop, like a horror movie prop, if you take the chain off the chainsaw, uh, you can still rev it up, but there's no chain, so there's nothing to, to get hurt on. So you just, you just take those bolts off, take the chain off, and reassemble everything without the, uh, the chain. <laughs> 